Today's business highlight, we're doing something a little bit different. We're highlighting a family for the Great American Bike Race that benefits the Sanford Health Foundation. Join me, our members of the Frank family. You've got Jeff in the middle, Rhea on my far left, and Nora, our honored guest, is sitting right next to me. We want to thank you all for being here. Now you guys came, you guys drove some roads, some highways this morning. You said it wasn't the greatest traveling out there this morning. <laughs> yeah, we got stuck behind a plow. So that was nice. They were all plowed for us, but getting around them was a little tricky until yeah. he pulled over. Okay, yesterday we had Sarah Haugen on from Sanford Health Foundation. We talked to her about what's coming up for Gabber, but it's nice to talk to a family that is directly involved. So I'm going to start with you, Jeff. We, we've been introduced now to Nora. Give me a little background on Nora. She just turned eight, you said. Yep, Nora's birthday was 316. She was born on, in 2016, and she came out a little bit early. She came okay. out at 25 weeks and we spent 100 days in the hospital in Minneapolis at Children's Hospital. And part of her coming out a little early, she had Hi. hydrocephalus, she had a little brain bleed, okay. and that caused her to have cerebral palsy. Okay. Now, Gabber has been a part of your life basically since Nora's been born. How has Gabber helped you guys, and what's been your involvement with that organization? You know, there's always support. You know, any anytime we've ever really needed any major stuff that financially or even spiritually or uh, through uh, therapies and stuff, right, right. they've supported us. If our insurance or Medicaid doesn't help pay for it, they'll help pay for it. Um, okay. So it's been amazing. They helped. We got a grant to pay for some of our van. I always say we drive a $15,000 van with $15,000 in modifications sure. for it. You know? I would imagine. I would imagine. Let me ask you this, big sister. You, uh, I'm sure you help out Nora a lot, Rhea. Tell me how you work with Nora as, as far as how you guys do things at home. Um, I sometimes push your chair up to her room and then I bring her brace up there sometimes mm -hmm. to her room. And then I, um, I, um, what is it? Her feeding? Oh yeah, and then I do her feeding. Sure. Okay, now you are involved. You've been involved in Gabber too. You have ridden bikes and gotten on that stationary bike, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Tell me, what, what do you find to be the most fun thing about Gabber? Um, the most fun thing I think about Gabber is like um, doing the photo booth in the bounce house and riding bike. Yeah, I would imagine. There's a lot of energy in that room too, isn't there? I mean, you can, people are working hard and they're all doing it for the, for the same cause, aren't they? Mm -hmm. So are you going to do it again this year? Probably. Yeah, I think I think that's more than a probably, right, Jeff? Yeah, she's she's already signed up. What what is Gabber meant to you? And I don't mean necessarily just financially. You talked about the uh, the spiritual aspect and things like that. But I would imagine it's something you look forward to every year, just because it is a it's a light there for you guys to say, you know what? Here are people to help. Right, and not only that, you meet so many other people yeah. that. Um, are in the same situation. Uh, it, it's not easy raising a child with cerebral yeah. palsy. It's not easy. And to meet other people that have gone through those trials and tribulations and um, been there. Yeah. And some of them have children that are older so they can give us advice on sure. things that they've gone through. And you know, sometimes there's tears and joys and you, know, you, you share the good things that, that the, you know, this is just a wonderful event. Exactly. It's fun to be around. Now, as, as, a, as a teacher, a second grade teacher, you see children Nora's age all the time. And do, what would you say to people that, that, have, that are fortunate to have a healthy second grader right now as far as how they can help in a situation, like you said, it's not an easy task to, <coughs> to, to raise someone that is, that is dealing with cerebral palsy. Right. So for me, my philosophy in, in my classroom is we're all different. Yes. And we all have our talents, you know. And I often bring up Nora and I say, you know, she can't walk or talk or eat, do some of those things, but she can play piano. She can, she can play piano. She, wow. She's musically inclined. She sings or she hums, you know. And so I always tell the kids, it's okay if you're not good at reading. It's okay if you're not good at math, as long as you're trying your best yes. and you're getting better at the things, you know. Well, I, know, I do know that they're still looking for people to sign up, that they're looking for teams for Gabber. That is coming up at the end of April. I want you to do me a favor, Rhea. 
I want you to look into that camera and say, people, we need teams, so get signed up because they can go to that website and do that. Yeah. People, we need teams, so go to that website and get signed up. There you go. Jeff, Ray, Nora, thank you so much for being here. We wish you all the best. Hi. We hope that, hi. <laughs> we hope that uh, the 27th is a great success for Gabber again this year. Thank you for uh, taking the time and also, you know, going through not what were the greatest roads to be here. We appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Hi. All right.